Today's objective is Introduction to Let Statements, which I've abbreviated as Intro to Let Statements. This is also known as How to Set Up Word Problems. We are going to have four examples today, and you need to write down the detail for the four examples. You may not just write a summary today, okay? Because I want you to do these in a specific way. There are other ways to solve these problems, but today I am teaching you this specific way which I'd like you to use. All right, number one. In a game, Ben's score was three times Sam's score. Together, oh, what happened to my period there? They scored 128 points. Find their scores. So, how do you do this problem? You think, who do you know the least about? Well, it says Ben's score was three times Sam's score, so you know a lot about Ben's score, so you know the least about Sam. So, this is what we do. We write down, this is what you need to write down, let X equal Sam's score. Now, what was Ben's score? Three times Sam's score. So 3x equals bin score. Don't pay attention to the arrows yet, okay? So you've written down this problem. Let's say x equals Sam score, 3x equals bin score. That's all you've written. So now we need to write the verbal model using the words bin score and Sam score. And the verbal model is Sam score plus bin score equals total score. Now Total score sounds funny, but we, we can't just write total. We have to be more descriptive. So I always like to write total whatever, and it usually sounds funny, and that kind of makes me laugh because it sounds funny. Okay? Now we need to write the algebraic model using the variables. That's where this arrow is going over to show you. Here's the variable. Here's the other variable. So we had SAM score plus bin score. SAM score is X. Bin score is 3X. So we write x plus 3x equals 128, which is the total score. You get this from your problem, okay? All right, <clears throat> since I had to write about the intro, we have to go on to two slides for this. So here's our problem again. Our algebraic model is x plus 3x equals 128. Now we combine like terms and solve. x plus 3x, remember this is really a 1x. So 1 plus 3, adding the coefficients, we get 4x equals 128. To solve, we divide both sides by 4. So x equals 32. Now that is SAM's score, because remember we said let x equals SAM's score, okay? Bin's score, we said that would be 3 times x. So we figure out Ben's score by saying 3 times 32, since 32 is the x, so that's 96. And word problems need word answers, so we write it out. Ben scored 96 points, and Sam scored 32 points. And we check it by just adding, them to, adding the two points together to make sure they equal the total, which they did. All right, example two. Write down the example, the let statements, the verbal model, the algebraic model, and the solving problem, okay? Meg's age is five times Jose's age. The sum of their ages is 30. How old are the boys? Now some of you can just figure this out, and that's great. The point is not what, can you figure it out? The point is, can you set it up the way I'm telling you? All right, so you think, who do you know the least about? Well, you know the least about Jose. I've underlined this, and you can see that it talks about Meg's age. So here are our let statements. Let x equal Jose's age, and since Meg's age is five times Jose's age, five x equals Meg's age, okay? Verbal model is the words. Jose's age plus Meg's age equals total age. See, that sounds funny, so I like it. The algebraic model is the variables. Jose's age is x, Meg's age is 5x, we just substitute that in. Jose's age x plus 5x equals 30, and the total age came from the problem up here. Okay, and now we solve it. Remember how many x's is this? 1x plus 5x, 6x equals 30, divide by 6, x equals 5. Remember, this is Jose's age. How do I find Meg's age? I multiply it by 5 because we said 5x is Meg's age. 
5 times 5 is 25, so that is Meg's age. And we can check that by adding them together. Jose's age plus Meg's age, total age, yep, it said 30. I'm correct. But you need to write their ages in a sentence because it's a word problem, so it gets a word answer. Jose is 5 and Meg is 25 years old. All right. Example 3. Now this is a different type of problem. The other two were similar. This is a perimeter problem. It's a little bit different, but the good news is we always set them up the same. All right? The length of a rectangle is three times its width. The perimeter is 56 centimeters. Find the dimensions. That means the length and the width. So we, we always set up our let statements for perimeter problems like this. Let W equal width. It's always this in perimeter. Okay, really, it's not. 99.9% .9 of the time it is, though. Okay? Don't worry about the other percent. And what did we know about the width, the length? The length of a rectangle is 3 times the width. So 3W equals length. Okay? Verbal model. Once again, we always write these for perimeter problems. 2 times the width. Remember, parentheses means multiply plus 2 times the length, no, you may not just write the letters, you need to write the words out, equals the perimeter. I wrote, again, we use this for every perimeter problem, okay? Now we substitute 2 times, what are we saying for width? W. When we substitute, we do it in parentheses with multiplying, remember. Plus 2 times what's length? 3 times W. So 2 times 3W equals the perimeter, which is 56 from our problem, okay? Now we're ready to solve. 2 times W is 2W. 2, 2 times 3W is 6W equals 56. Combine like terms, 2 plus 6 is 8. 8W equals 56. Divide both sides by 8. We get W equals 7. Remember, W is the width. How do I find the length? The length is 3 times W. So 3 times 7 equals 21, and that's the length. Now to check that, we go back to our algebraic model. 2 times w, or 2 times, I'm sorry, let's go to our verbal. 2 times the width plus 2 times the length. So 2 times 7, because that's the width, plus 2 times 21, because that's the length, has to equal our perimeter, which is 56. I know I'm talking a little bit faster here, but that's because I want you to pause it, and I don't want another 16-minute video, right? Those are a little long. All right, 2 times 7 is 14. 2 times 21 is 42. 14 plus 42 is 56. Yay! And our sentence, the width is 7 centimeters and the length is 21 centimeters, okay? So this problem is a little bit different than the others because you don't look to see who you know the least about because 99.9% .9 of the time you will know the least about the width. So you always say let W equal width and then figure out what I'm telling you about the length. Your verbal model is always 2 times the width plus 2 times the length equals the perimeter so you can substitute in. Okay? All right, one more problem. All right. Here's another type of problem. These are distance problems. Rachel rode her bike 28 miles in three and a half hours. How fast in miles per hour, that's what MPH stands for, miles per hour, was Ra Rachel riding? Okay, in this problem, you need to know the distance, how far you go, equals rate, how fast you're going or your speed, times time, how long you're going. So if you were writing, if you were going 12 miles an hour for three hours, 12 times three, you would go 36 miles. If you were going 17 miles per hour for two hours, 17 times two, you would have gone 34 miles. Okay, so it's just a multiplication problem. So which piece don't you know? Do you know the distance? Yes, it's 28 miles. Do you know the rate? No, because it says how fast was Rachel riding. Do you know the time? Well, you better or you won't be able to figure this out, and you do, it's three and a half hours. 
So what piece don't you know? The speed, which is the rate. So the let statement, we just say let r equal the rate. We only have one unknown in this because there's only three parts to it, okay? This says verbal model, but apparently when I was going across, I smushed it up with my finger. So let me write that again. Verbal model. All right. Our verbal model is always rate times time equals distance. Notice I rewrote it. So the answer is on the right side because we like to solve it that way. All right. Um, the algebraic model, we just substitute in. Rate is the one we don't know, so we say that that's R times time, that's from our problem, equals distance, that's from our problem. I say these two come from the problem. Now solve. Now look, this said R times 3.5, and here I wrote 3.5 times R because I can change the order because of the better said commutative property. Commutative property. So 3 times 5, 3.5 times R equals 28. Divide both sides by 3.5. Remember, you can't have a decimal in your divisor, so I multiplied both by 10. So it's really 35 into 280, and that equals 8. So the rate is 8 miles per hour. Okay? And we know it's because here's miles and here's hour. That's why it's miles per hour. Our sentence, Rachel was writing 8 miles per hour, and here's our check. So I wanted to say 8 times 3.5 equals 28. Look, I'm doing the distributive property. I'm breaking this up to be 8 times 3 plus 0.5. 8 times 3, 24. i got to watch my finger, huh? Let me write that. Half of 8 is 4. Add those together, 28. And that's...